What's up you guys, it's Steve here and Congress. They're cranking away to try to get stuff done. We're receiving word of more negotiations taking place and we're gonna be talking about stimulus checks. This is your breaking news, stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now take a look at some of these headlines coming out you guys. Pelosi and Schumer discuss legislative moves to cut gasoline prices and tackle inflation. We've heard they're trying to bring down the federal gas tax and also they're talking about potential gas stimulus checks. Now, I will keep you up to date on that. There are currently four bills proposed for reoccurring gas stimulus checks. Now, speaking of stimulus checks, this is posing a question about inflation. A lot of people are wondering, have checks caused inflation? Uh, are they just a minor part of it? Should we have more checks? This article says, this, stimulus checks is one of the most welcome words in America. As of now, demands for checks have surged drastically. Petitions have been made favoring the provision for a fourth round of payments, but amidst all the demands, there has been fake news during the rounds. New bonus checks of $7,000 had gained significant ground recently. I let you guys know here on the channel that that was inaccurate. I keep you up to date on all the accurate information on the checks, on state levels, federal levels, negotiations taking place. But you guys, we're going to be discussing whether or not there should be another check. Let me know your thoughts. Or do you think it's going to just be adding more so to inflation, causing these record high prices across the globe? Now, in addition to that, you guys, take a look at this. I let you know that yesterday we heard from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer that preliminary talks were taking place with Joe Manchin on their Democratic agenda. Now, they have a packed to-do list. We're hearing that they're trying to talk about gas stimulus checks, child tax credits, getting rid of student loan debt. Also, they want to send out money to Ukraine, ten, provide $10 billion in pandemic assistance to help battle this new wave of the variant we're seeing, and also getting a slim down revised Build Back Better bill done. That has come to the forefront. However, I let you know in my last video that Senator Joe Manchin said he's not reviving the Build Back Better agenda at this time. Talks have just started up, but he is not going so far as to say it is coming back. Now, we will see. I will keep you guys up to date here on the channel, but we're going to dive into the latest as we're receiving word that head of the House and head of the Senate have gotten together, Pelosi and Schumer, and they're talking about how we're going to be combating these high prices to help out Americans at this time. Going to get you caught up on the latest. Now, before we dive in, also wanted to mention a new video up on the second channel, Steve Ram Finance. If you're interested in learning about growing wealth, personal finance, consider joining that channel. More content coming on the way. And yesterday, I let you guys know about Elon Musk buying out Twitter for $44 billion, one of the largest transactions we have seen. And a lot of people are wondering, what is this going to mean for free speech on Twitter? Is former President Donald Trump going to be getting his Twitter account back? Will he tweet again? We will see you guys this is all just unfolded in the past 24 hours, and check out that video to hear the latest on that. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in, get you caught up on negotiations for stimulus, let you know what's going on as of today, April 27th, 2022. But before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second, if you appreciate the updates, don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton, I appreciate it, thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out, if this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, totally free to do so. All you got to do is smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. If you got any specific questions for me, I'm easy to get a hold of directly. Just hop on to Instagram, shoot me a DM at steveram3. And with that being said, you guys, let's dive into these articles and get you caught up on the latest. All right, so we're going to be talking about Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi's legislative plans to help out America in just a second. But first, let's talk about stimulus checks. Now, should we have a fourth federal level stimulus check of $2,000? What about a reoccurring maybe monthly or quarterly gas stimulus check as we've seen proposed by four bills in Congress so far? Uh, should we have more state checks? I've let you know of many that have been proposed and some that have already been passed and are on the way. Uh, I'll keep you up to date on that, but what are your thoughts? Should we have this or no? Now, a lot of people are saying we need more assistance, but there's others saying, no, this has caused this record high inflation and we need to hit the pause button. This is the perspective of a lot of Republicans in Congress and a lot of conservative Democrats that are saying, listen, if we're going to provide any more stimulus provisions, it has to be paid for. Because if we add any more spending that isn't paid for through taxes of some kind, it's going to make inflation even worse. And that is why Senator Joe Manchin has hit the pause button on the Build Back Better bill and it is frozen in Congress 
because we literally need every single Democratic senator on board to pass any bill through the process of reconciliation. So right now, it is in pause mode. Now, we will see. Let me know your thoughts. Checks or not. But this article says, stimulus check, a boom or a curse. Stimulus checks prove to be of immense help to Americans, and the monetary benefits provided the much-needed respite of the citizens. However, lawmakers have stated that the inception of the American Rescue Plan was probably a mistake. Analysts have stated that the stimulus payments have resulted in this inflation. Now, many families got the money that was more than needed, thus the purchasing capacity of people did not get affected. But as the stimulus checks have begun to close, the families are now facing an acute problem in managing their households properly. Debates have surfaced between lawmakers about the adversities caused by stimulus payments. And the question is now being raised, are stimulus checks hurting more than helping? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, just coming out this morning, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer are discussing legislative moves to cut gasoline prices and tackle inflation. Now, we had heard from Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, and she had said the best route to go and what is being considered is gas stimulus checks because getting rid of federal gas tax does not guarantee that Americans are going to be seeing the benefit. And we heard yesterday from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer that they were working on checks, direct payments to families, trying to figure out ways to assist and went through a laundry list of different things. If you missed that video, check it out right after this one. But this article from Yahoo News says, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer met on Tuesday to discuss possible legislation to reduce gas prices, according to a Democratic aide. The meeting comes as Democrats turn their focus to inflation, the top concern of many voters ahead of the midterm elections that could push Democrats out of power in the House and in the Senate. And yes, we're hearing they have very little time to get this done as elections are this year. And we're hearing if they don't get something done, Congress is going to flip to the other side and we will have a Republican-controlled Congress with a Democratic president. Now, leaders are hoping to pass legislation dealing with gas prices before the end of May, but would need Republican cooperation in the Senate to do so. The GOP is pushing for expanded fossil fuel production domestically, something progressive Democrats may be unable to support. Now, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer this week has been talking about moving a bill that would beef up the Federal Trade Commission's ability to stop gas price manipulation. There is something deeply wrong, deeply wrong about seeing the largest oil and gas companies in the world drench top executives and wealthy shareholders with cash while Americans are struggling at the pump, he said on Monday on the Senate floor. Democrats are also discussing and will consider other potential actions to beef up the FTC's ability to crack down on price gouging in industries, including the oil industry. We will have more to say on this as the week progresses, he said. Now, House Democratic Caucus Chairman Hakeem Jeffries told reporters that the House hopes to vote on a gasoline price bill in the coming weeks. A gas tax holiday on the table is on the table as well as other elements to be addressed will be supply chain issues, he said. A House panel earlier this month was held with executives of six oil companies, including ExxonMobil and BP America, accusing them of exploiting the war in Ukraine to surge crude oil prices to reap windfall profits at the expense of American motorists. So looks like this is not going unnoticed and they're gonna be uh, making some moves here to try to help out Americans and get those prices down. Now, we will see you guys. They said this is gonna be unfolding over the course of this this week and the upcoming weeks. I will keep you up to date on all of this here on the channel. And once again, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi has already vocalized, in her opinion, the best route forward is going to be gas stimulus checks. So you guys, that is the latest. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But as more information rolls out, I will be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to take a quick second, smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, totally free, why not go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. Consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. Uh, and with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you for joining me. I will catch you in the next one. I will keep you up to date. God bless. Take care. This is Steve.